guys, it's Dee and welcome to Dee's Yard. Today, I finally get to share with you my brand new fountain. This is a long time coming. If you have watched any of my older garden tours, you may have seen in our front island garden bed an old plastic fountain that my husband keeps repairing and honestly, we've been limping it on for far too long. It's plastic and it leaks all the time and I'm just happy to see it go. When I was shopping for a new fountain, I knew I wanted to have a similar style and size with a tiered water and bottom pool, and I found exactly what I wanted. Just for the record, this is not sponsored, and I paid for this fountain with my own money. I ended up choosing at Henry Studio two-tiered Montreux fountain and pool in the finished Relic Nebbia. Now, I did order this at the beginning of February, and it's just now arrived, so it did take a while to get here. But first things first, it's time to get rid of the old fountain and prepare the new base. Here's the old fountain, and you guys, it's really gross from just sitting here and collecting water and debris. I'm just so excited to see it go. Time to get to work. Now that it's finally gone, I just put down a small layer of sand to perfectly level the area from the last base. Next, I add a layer of crushed gravel to bring it level with the surrounding grade, and then I just smooth and make sure the ground is level. This new fountain is very heavy, so I got some help setting the fountain's concrete pool or basin into place. Then with help, I run the fountain's pump core through, which will be hidden later. I then make sure the base is completely level to ensure even water flow. Each install piece is leveled. The fountain also came with plastic shims if needed. Luckily, I didn't need any. There is also a rubber stopper that goes in the basin's hole to seal the power cord and prevent water from leaking out. Next, with a helper, I feed the pump's hose through the next layer of the fountain and it's set down in the basin. Another rubber stopper is placed around the pump's hose and then the next layer is placed on top with the hose being fed through and again, a rubber stopper. I finished with placing the fountain's top on. The pump's hose provided was the perfect length. Now it's time to fill the fountain's base with water. There's also foam provided that goes at the bottom of the fountain and that's to keep debris away from the pump. Once there was enough water in the basin, I plugged it in with an extension cord. Where the pump is plugged in, I use an extension cord safety cover and then hide it under nearby rocks. Lastly, I soften up the look by adding dart mulch to cover the crushed gravel. Now, I need your guys' opinion. Do you like the look of just mulch surrounding the fountain without the larger rock border? Or do you like the look of the rock border around the base? You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. I really love the look and sound of this new fountain and I think it fits this spot perfectly. It's also absolutely gorgeous at night with added lighting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.